Hey everyone, it's Tracy. I'm coming at you with my nine week post op VSG update. Sorry, it's sloppy. I had to write it backwards. <laughs> I haven't figured out all the technology stuff yet. <laughs> so, um, I just did my two month surge anniversary prior to my weigh in for this. And I wanted to let you know there isn't much of a change. Actually, no change, but that's okay. So, on my nine week, well, let's get into all of my stats. Um, I had my surgery on May 22nd at Trinity Bariatrics, Steubenville, Ohio. My surgeon was Joseph Colella. My high weight was 330 pounds. My surgery weight was 304 pounds. Last week on week eight, I weighed in at 271.6 pounds. And this week, I weigh in at 270.5 pounds. I'm five foot four inches tall and 39 years old. Um, my nine week official weigh in was Monday, July 25th, sorry, 2017. My total loss since my high weight is 59.5 pounds. Um, looking at my notes, um, my total loss since surgery is 33.5 pounds. I have lost 1.1 pound for the week, so I'll take it. It's a loss. It's not as much as I wanted, and I know in my last video I talked about wanting to get into 260s. I will say that this video is being done a few days later than I wanted, so I will say as of right now I have reached that goal, but I'm not going to report that because I will wait until my 10-week video to see if it stays the same. So let's get into some of my issues. Excuse me. One of the problems that I've been having this past week, and I've noticed in the last like few updates for some of the folks that had their surgery around the same time as me, this tends to be the common theme. For most of us, any time in the last five, uh, that are at five to eight weeks, it seems like carb crazy. Uh, cravings for carbs have been out of control. My activity level has increased, so that's a good thing. Um, but other than that, I really don't have a lot to report for the week. <laughs> um, I have been starting to work out a bit more. Um, trying to become more active, but my schedule has changed at work. I had mentioned that there was some changes in my last video. I now work 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. four days a week. That gives me one weekday to be able to take my daughter to her appointments and everything. You know, sometimes as a working mom, when you work an 8 to 4 shift, you can't do the things that you've got to do for your family. Doctor's offices and billing locations are all the same hours, so it makes it hard. And it works better for my clients. I have clients who work day shift and couldn't get in. So now we have some evening hours and that that's awesome. Um, and that helps out. Can't get into more details than that, but just know that with my work schedule, my home schedule, my school schedule, things have been chaos. And as October approaches, it's only going to get worse. I have internship to do. Um, busy life. <laughs> I actually was messaging a friend this morning and realized that she and I haven't seen each other since I was in the hospital. She came to visit me and she's my best friend and it kind of is a crummy situation that her health is in a bad place right now too so she's got doctor's appointments. Her boyfriend is also going through some health issues. He has doctor's appointments and with all their activities and my activities our schedules never seem to line up. And I don't think in a long time it's gone 10 weeks without me seeing her or even speaking to her on the phone. We've texted, but we just really have not had a lot of time. And she's like my sister. And I have got to see my sister, which is something that hasn't happened since my surgery either. And that was nice. I got to visit with her for a little bit. So things have just been kind of crazy with my schedule and me trying to, you become a bit obsessed 
with this surgery, I'm noticing. And I don't know if it's everybody, but I mean, I'm label crazy, scale crazy, not just my weight scale. I mean, weighing food crazy. Uh, I pay attention to every single thing that goes in my mouth. So, for anyone who says it's the surgery that changes us, it's a part of it. It's a tool that we're using, just like the scale for my food, just like the blender for my shakes. It's all tools that I'm using. Um, but it's me making the effort, and it's me who doesn't succeed. And that... It's kind of a tough pill to swallow when you went and had your body changed and you realize you didn't lose as much as you potentially could have because of your own actions. It makes you see how much the food addiction was there even though I'm an addictions counselor. I never realized how bad it was for me. I knew that it was there. I just... Carbs... The minute I started letting myself have a couple bites of carbs, it went nuts. I I can't go with no carbs. My doctor won't allow it. He's just so anti-extreme cutting out the carbs. He believes I should have between 80 and 100 on average if I'm active. 40 to 60 a day is okay if I'm sedentary. He says that the carbs actually are required. It's not sugars, it's healthy carbs and learning the difference. And I get that. But for me, I felt better when I was on a keto-ish type of diet. I won't do the paleo only because I love dairy. I just can't seem to give up the cheese. <laughs> or milk. Cream. Yogurt. You know. I just, I like dairy. I have to have at least one form of dairy a day, even if it's a cheese stick. There's something in my diet that's dairy-ish. You know, yogurt, something. I can't help it. It's just, I've been raised that way, I guess. I It's in my head, and I know if I forced myself, I could give it up. I gave up sugar. If I gave up sugar, I'd give up anything. I can't stay in sugar, actually, so it's a good thing. Um, I really, there's a lot going on in everyone's world right now. And I won't name names, but you know who you are if you're watching my video. And the loss in your family, I feel so bad. Um, when it's unexpected, it's devastating. Know you're in my prayers, you're in my thoughts. Um... To those of you who are struggling like I am, you'll get it. Next week's a new week, and a loss is a loss. If it's a 0.1 pound loss, it's a loss. And without this surgery, I wouldn't have had the 1.1 pound loss. I would not have made myself look at how I was eating. I would not have made myself eat differently. So whether the surgery is causing this or how I'm eating is causing this is... It doesn't really matter. The fact that I can't eat a lot, yes, that's the surgery. But I could eat the same amount of calories. There was a day, I had a day, where I had 1,500 calories. How I did it, because I ate healthy, I don't know. I just, every couple hours, I felt hungry, and I hadn't felt hungry. I knew the difference between the head hunger and the real hunger. I was having belly growling and feeling empty and the pain that you get when you know your pouch is empty like every couple hours so I had to put something in and I did things like cashews and almonds literally and I weighed them okay so it wasn't like but this was excuse me hiccups <laughs> but um this wasn't like me eating a whole pizza which I did have. I went carb crazy. I had six Parmesan bread bites. I told you I went carb crazy this past week from Domino's. I had a half of a bacon Swiss burger from Burger King the first time I did not remove the bun. I had half. I only could eat half. Normally I ask for my burgers no bun. So yes, I still eat burgers. 
I may eat a Baconator from Wendy's. Mind you, it's 700 calories if you eat all of it, which generally I can't eat all of it unless it's the only thing I've eaten all day. And it takes me a minute, but I can. Sometimes I'm noticing I'm eating too fast. I have such a busy schedule. I honestly have the same problem now that I had pre-op. I forget to eat. I don't schedule eating. I just don't even think about it. And now the fact is that I generally don't feel hungry. I never did. I mean, I, I never... At work, I just don't, I never have had that problem. I mean, I'd have to go a long time without food or drink to feel actual hunger. Um, I just make myself eat frequently, but there have been a couple times in the last week that I was ravenous. Um, and like I said, I did have the day where it was 1,500 calories, and if I hadn't controlled myself that day, it would have probably hit 2,000. And that's scary when I'm only supposed to be able to eat between 800 and 1,000. And those of you who can only eat a cup or less, count your blessings. Because I don't know if it's a technique my surgeon does. Everybody I have spoke to who has had my surgery at my clinic, they don't feel restriction. Unless they're eating at least a cup of food. I eat small bites, guys. I make sure I chew, chew, chew. But I'm telling you, there are times that I can eat almost a whole plate of food. I use dessert plates, small dessert plates. Um, I'm not going out of control or anything, but I weigh my food, you know. I try to keep my servings around two to four ounces when I do my proteins. I do vegetables a lot, like I've been, cabbage and Brussels sprouts have been my thing lately. Um, as you guys know, I have bathroom issues and I will say since I started eating cabbage several times in the last week, not been a problem. Um, I made cabbage rolls with no carbs. Well, I mean slight because I used flaxseed meal. I used quinoa. I think it's pronounced, um, eggs, ground chicken, ground steak, mixed together, seasons, you know, um, but I didn't use any crackers, any breadcrumbs, anything like that. Um, they didn't hold together as well as they used to. Uh, they were not my best. But they tasted good, and I'm able to eat them, and I meal prepped stuffed peppers and cabbage rolls. And they're frozen, because I can't eat as much as I make. My daughter eats with me, but she can't eat as much as I make. And because I've discovered this food hoarding thing, which I cannot throw food away. I also am so used to cooking for a family, I can't cook small amounts. I've tried. I just, it doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste good to me. The measurements and the spices, I don't measure anything. I look and pour, look and pour, pour it in the palm of my hand. Things just don't measure out right. And I just, that's tough, guys. This is a whole lifestyle change, not just your body. It's a whole mind game. Yes, I was going to say fuck. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a mind game, and you learn a lot about yourself, and you learn a lot about the things that you were doing that you denied in your own mind. Not that you denied it to yourself, but were in denial. I had no idea. I thought I was tracking my food accurately before saying I was eating under 2,000 calories. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> no. I must not have been because the things I was putting in my body in comparison to how I eat now, it's phenomenal. <laughs> the changes, the things I can consume, the things I can't, it's embarrassing. It's, it's weird that I feel that way. But I took my daughter out to a restaurant and I felt ashamed because I couldn't eat. But I can't not take my kids out. I can't not let them enjoy the things that they want. 
As a matter of fact, I'm going to Pittsburgh today to pick my son up and told them that I would take them to dinner. I will find something I can eat. But when people look at you funny or even you look at yourself and think of the things that you used to eat, you become ashamed of yourself, of that person, that you're not that person anymore. It. But I am that girl. You know, she's still here. And if I allow myself, I've discovered in this last week, if I allow myself, I can get back there. And thank God for this tool because this tool prevents that. This is why I have been on other diets. I've been on Nutrisystem. I've been on Weight Watchers, Atkins Diet, Cabbage Soup Diet. I've been on these diets before, guys. And at this phase, I always give up. This tool keeps me from being able to give up. It keeps me from choosing that and going back to the way it was. So even though I did eat poorly this week, it was a mind check. It was a body check. It was a wake-up call. And I thank God for it because now next week, starting tomorrow evening, Sunday, um, I'm going to get myself back on track. And I'm going to make a commitment to myself to work out at least 30 minutes four times on the gazelle this week. I did three times this week. I'm going to increase slowly. The gazelle is a bit tough for me because I have bad knees and I tend to lock my knees. So I'm working on that. Um, just plain walking, riding bikes, whatever, but I will be physically active 30 minutes for four days this upcoming week. And I will check in Monday with my 10 week That'll be too soon for the update on the physical activity. So on my 11 week, follow me there if you want to see if I was active during my 10 week period where I'm promising four days of 30 minute activity um, because I want to be held accountable and that's what this video stuff is for is so I can hold myself accountable and we can support one another. And for my new subscribers, hey, welcome. Sorry, I'm just getting to that. Um, if you guys any have any comments, uh, any things you'd like me to discuss, food that I eat regularly, um, what I eat in a day videos, I mean, they're not going to be very interesting to be honest because I don't do anything. I don't cook a lot in the mornings. I just don't have the time. So, but I could do that if that's what you want. I have a daily routine that I pretty much premiere protein and my coffee and that's my breakfast generally. Lunch is usually cashews, peanuts, um, almonds, pistachios, something like that, cheese stick. Um, P3s are good. Uh, and dinner is an actual knife fork meal of some kind. Um, and then I do snack in the evening. I usually do like um, Halo Top or something like that. So, but anyways, um, whatever you guys want to know, put it in the comments below. Follow me also on Instagram under Flabulous Tracy there. I also have Facebook, Flabulous Tracy. Uh, I have not been updating on my Facebook much. I will get back to that this week maybe. Uh, Instagram generally once or twice a week. I post pictures more than anything there. Um, I'm going to post some side-by-sides because... But I've been taking them in bikinis and things like that and haven't been comfortable. So we'll work on that. I am going to try. I did post some, uh, I did take some pictures today, but they're in different outfits than the original outfit that I had taken the uh, pre-op pictures in. So we'll see. Um, if you want to see them, that'll be on Instagram under Flabulous Tracy. Uh, and until next time, guys. Monday. <laughs> See ya. Uh, blessings. And for those of you going through a hard time, you're in my prayers. Bye.